Hey guys, Luton here, and we're back for some more Battlefield 4, and here we are on Mortar, Operation Mortar. This is a domination game, 1,000 tickets. Now this was a particularly hard round. The other guys on the, the enemy team were very, very good players, especially the top five, especially the top guy on the other team who's very good. Now that made it very difficult. We played a few rounds already. Now the first part of this game for me was pain. It was pain, 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 and you'll see this. Um, I have cut some sections out of the uh, sort of first and middle half of this game just for time. This this game it ran over half an hour, obviously, because it's a thousand tickets, and I just I was thinking I don't have enough to talk about this round for half an hour, so it's, I've cut it back to about 20, 20 minutes, so just to kind of save some time there. Um, but yeah, this first section was pain, really was. Uh, you'll see I'm running the M a, uh, M16A4. I've been testing out some burst weapons and just trying to sort of see how I feel with burst weapons a little bit because it kind of suits my playstyle overall um, for some situations anyway, and especially on a map like this which is quite open and more long-range engagements, I felt it would kind of work reasonably well. So that's why I'm running that setup. Um, I'm going Assault as well. Uh, you'll see that I'm running with uh, Struts and Supra, the guys I play with as well, so we're working as a little team on this one. Now the main reason for this gameplay today, of course, is I keep looking for objective play. Uh, it seems to be my mission at the moment, is finding objective gameplay. You know, I have been considering about setting a server for myself, I really have, uh, but it's a cost. It's a pretty reasonable cost, and I just don't know if I can cover that cost right now, to be honest. Um, so that's one reason that's kind of holding me back on that. Um, I actually had a load of people this week when I kind of mentioned it, and, and okay, so a good example. Look how fast these guys in the enemy team have pushed up to here. Pushed up on A, we're almost triple capped at this point. Uh, so they're really being very aggressive. I'm getting caught out by the sort of little squad of guys around here all over the place. So this, this first half of the game for me was rough. I was getting screwed up, and you know, when you have these kind of moments, I, I really was feeling the pain at the start of this round. I was like, oh my god, I just can't get in anywhere, and I felt like it was all going wrong. And you've got to kind of just refine it back and sort of hold it back and you know I've said it many times before and I don't mind admitting that I am I'm not the best in terms of gunplay I'm definitely not up there in the sort of top top plays of gunplay uh, I can I can hold my own but you know I'm not right up there I do think that you know I can generally the main advantage that I do have is kind of outthinking enemy and sort of moving and flanking in those ways uh, and I tend to sort of then sort of recoup <laughs> that sort of uh, you know uh, skill base there so it kind of all comes back around like your kind of skill tree if you will um, but yeah so you know we're playing on this round now the reason I chose this round as well because out of the games we played this evening uh, of the games we tried some conquest and we were looking for an obliteration server we couldn't find one which had enough slots uh, to accommodate the squad so uh, we, we tried some conquest and we, then we came back to this and the conquest games uh, we had like one that was okay and then the other one was just awful it was so bad it was so terrible and again it, it all comes back to just how much the team are willing to put into the game now something that people always get wrong when I'm talking about objective play I whenever I'm sort of saying like oh the team didn't do this or the team did this or whatever what people are misunderstanding is that I'm not saying always sometimes I am but and I'm not always saying like oh the team if they, they failed you know we, they were so bad Sometimes they are, sometimes the teams suck, and, and you guys know this as well. But a lot of the time, what you're really looking for is not a team that's going to, like, dominate the enemy and sort of, you know, score all objectives and win really hard. That's not really what a lot of the time you're looking for. What a lot of the time you're looking for is a team like this team that I'm playing with right here. These guys are making plays. They're, they're trying to... The other team that we're fighting against is very difficult. They're very good players. And my team, probably less, you know, including myself. We're probably just not quite as good as those other guys. But what the guys on my team are doing, they're trying. They're trying hard. They're coming down here. Look, this guy was coming down here to C. The other guys, the other guys in the team cap B multiple times. They make pushes forward. They cap those bases. And that's another reason why I, you know, prefer these kind of rounds. Terrible, terrible, terrible play. You can see what I'm talking about right here. This first section for me was just shocking. Like, several times I was like, oh, God. Like, I don't know where I was. I haven't been playing as much Battlefield as I should, which is probably part of the reason. Another reason is probably just me. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so... But yeah, the key thing is that the team are actually trying. They're actually pushing forward. They're actually trying to get the objective. They're actually putting some fight into the enemy. And that's what you need. And the reason you need that is because if you as a squad don't have that from your team, what it means is if you're the only squad, which often my squad is because we tend to push hard and go for the objectives. Now, if we're the only people on our team that are doing that, then it means that the enemy immediately priority focus you. 
they see you as the guys that are coming, they will see you more likely because there's nobody else around anyway. So they're going to see you and focus on you. And that means that essentially it kind of becomes you versus the entire team, you know? Because you, every time you move forward, they are all gunning for you. And that's a real problem because it means you can't really make any kind of constructive progress. Whereas if your team are do look at, I mean, this is, look, look where we are right now. And just look kind of behind me and to the right. Those are my guys. This is our team. You know, they're pushing down the hill. They're trying to flank. They're trying to put forward. But more importantly, they're actually putting, uh, you know, constructive fire back onto the enemy. They're getting some kills. They're making some plays. And that's really what you want to see. And, and as I've said before, it's not about necessarily even if you win or lose. I mean, this is a thousand ticket game, right? And it comes down close. You know, if these, if, the, if my team was actually a bad team, then, you know, we might lose by sort of 200, 300 tickets. But we don't. It comes much closer than that. And the reason it comes closer is because they're actually trying to play the game. And that's so positive to see. You know, I mean, we keep getting pushed back up the hill here, but they keep trying. I mean, that's the other thing as well. Thro <laughs> God, that. <laughs> oh god, I don't know. he got destroyed so much I lost his body. <laughs> like I was trying to think, where is he? He got completely blown up. Anyway, look, see, again, look at look at left towards B here. They, they've gone straight back in there. They're trying to push down the hill. And and this is really, this is what you want to see. You just want to see people trying to play, trying to get in there, putting the pressure on. And I'll tell you what as well, I'm sure that the other team actually appreciated that kind of gameplay as well, because even though they were having a harder fight, and the, the other team do really well by the end of the round, but at least they've got people like coming down, getting into them. It's sort of, it's more interesting, especially over a thousand tickets. You don't want just a boring spawn camp for a thousand tickets. I mean, for Christ's sake, if I was in that kind of game, and even if we were dominating, I'd be pretty tempted to just leave because I'd be like, oh my God, I can't play a thousand tickets like this. You know, it's just, and I've done that. I've, you know, It's been such a tedious round, even if we're dominating them. I'm like, man, I'm not going to spend another like 15, 20 minutes playing this game because it's so boring as hell, you know? Um, and so, yeah. And, and often as well, I've seen that before, when you have a round that's, that's totally just spawn trapped and boring as hell often the team which win quit out because they're like man this sucks it's such a boring round you know they leave and so you don't really want that um but we're trying to make flanks on both sides here we're pushing down on the seaside and on uh, the side here to be and through so it's working really well and as i say it's just a kind of more positive thing and and this is the kind of gameplay that i would love to see more and more um so i didn't finish what i was saying before about sort of uh, my own server and you know yeah so loads of people were saying to me about my server and, and they were sort of suggesting like hey why don't you take donations for the server and blah 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 but there's two reasons i don't know i mean i I could do that, right? But there's two reasons why I would prefer not to do that. One is I don't really like taking donations from people because I just, I don't know. It, it, I just never particularly like I've seen some YouTubers, some LPers, and they take like fucking uh, donations to pay their house bills and stuff. It's like, what the fuck is that? Seriously, it's so bizarre. Um, but yeah, I mean, I could do that. And it, I, I don't know, I don't know. But but more importantly it's like if you become reliant on something to pay for that then it's it's like a you know you're reliant on it and i don't really want to do that either i don't want i don't want to have to come to people and each month or whatever or two months or whatever and say hey guys you know um need to have those donations you know i, I don't know so uh, let me know what your thoughts are below on that one but um i don't know but either way i mean i would like to have a server i, I would and it would be a good thing to have i think because then i could sort of try and attract objective players i mean actually it makes me think back to battlefield 3 and you know i'd kind of forgotten because i haven't had my own server for quite a while that in battlefield 3 the main reason why i picked up my own server was because it was the only way we could get objective games and it was also because it enabled me to balance the teams and stuff you know um, but I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe what we could do with this, if we have a service, like a half-half, you know? Like, I put in half and then people donate half. That seems like a reasonable compromise. People, like, want to play on the server to have a good uh, constructive gameplay. And, you know, I want to have that so that I can get constructive gameplay and just enjoy the game. So, actually, maybe that might be a reasonable compromise. And I, I tell you what as well, I might talk to my guys in my squad and see if they can't uh, throw a little bit in as well. So, maybe together we can all put something together. Maybe I'll go for, like, a 32-slot server, see what I can get on that. I'll tell you something else I wouldn't mind getting is, is see if I can get sponsored for a server, you know? If I go and speak to some uh, server companies and say, hey, guys, look, I'll promote your uh, your servers and your, your site uh, in return you drop me a server and that might be a way of doing that as well so I'll see what I can do with that but anyway so right now we're kind of pushing flanking around but look these guys are dug in even at the back I was quite surprised these guys were in here I was like what the hell are they doing I didn't expect that guy to be dug in so tight with the rocks like what is he doing in there I don't know anyway but um so yeah it was good in this round to see this kind of flanking and again look look at C you know how often I say that I push up onto objectives, or my team push up onto objectives, and suddenly we turn around and, oh, there's no support. Where are they? 
look at that sea base right there. We pushed down the hill, we power dropped down, we got into the enemy at the, the sort of rear of their lines, and we sort of were getting in on them. But look, 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 look at the map right now. The team, uh, you know, our team are flocking down to sea. They're really pushing hard. So, yeah, all through this game, and that's, I, I guess that's the thing as well, is sometimes you see in games where kind of people, they try for a little bit, and then they're like, oh, it's not really working. Oh, I'll just sit back and get the kills. Our team don't do that. They push, they push all the way through, they keep playing the game. And again, that's what makes it enjoyable right to the end. That's why it's a close finish. And actually, I think there would be a lot more close finishes if people didn't just kind of give up, you know? If they actually kept on fighting to the end. And you know, I'm as guilty of this as anybody. The amount of times we've been in a game, and you guys have probably heard me say this before when we've been playing, and I sort of midway through my sort of commentary of the round will say, yeah, at this point I was like, we've got no chance. I often, I, I, I seriously should kick myself with my own advice by this time, honestly, because the amount of times it's happened that we've been sort of midway through a game and I've been like, oh, that's it. We've got no chance now, not a hope. And then somehow, miraculously, we break through and turn it around and I'm like, wow, there is no way on hell I thought that was going to ever happen. So it, it can happen. But only if you have a team that are actually pushing and playing the objective, you know. And this was a good round. This was, it was a good round to see. And do you know what else? This was a good round for me because at the end of this evening, we'd had like five or six games that just sucked. They were really awful. And I was so like, I mean, we actually were talking that evening about if we as a squad even wanted to continue playing Battlefield at this point after these games. Because really, we played some Conquest games and it was just a... Well, sorry, but it was just a fucking shambles. It really, really was. And we were just like, I said, I just don't think I can play this anymore. I don't think I can play with games that play out like this. And that's, oh my god, I've had it before with, with other games and this. And you, you just think like, ah, you get to a point where you just can't deal with it anymore. And I think a lot of people are feeling like that. And you know, something else as well, in, in the comment section, that's why the A4s let me down. That and my accuracy. <laughs> um... But yeah, something that was very interesting on this uh, round that I posted this week. Okay, goes the uh, you know has the objective play past the point of no return. So many comments from you guys, I really really appreciate. It. I've read them all, uh, and they're still coming in on a daily basis. And that's what shows me that like three or four days later after I post that video, people are still commenting on that video, and they're still commenting. Damn it, hindsight's a good thing, isn't it? I totally saw that guy as I was jumping over the rock right there, but in game I didn't see it. Um, hind, you know. I had so many good comments from you guys, and as I say, the fact that they're still coming in days and days after I posted that video just highlights for me how big an issue this is. It's not just me, everybody else is feeling the same thing, and and, and I, I consider that to be a real problem. And I'm telling you right now, I have sent this information on. I wrote a long email and sent it to the guys at EA and Dice. Now, if they don't do anything about objective play, it's because they've chosen to ignore that. I have sent my information, my thoughts, very, you know, frankly forward to them. And I have said that if this doesn't get sorted out, I can absolutely see the, you know, continual death of the game and the genre. Because unless they start to encourage people to really sort of play in a way that focuses around the core objective of the game mode, I just think it's going to deteriorate. We're going to see a sort of much more, forgive me for saying, COD mentality of that kind of run, gun, not interested in the objective play style. And ultimately, it will just kill things off. And, you know, maybe not next year, maybe not that year after, but it will happen in the long term because those kind of players, players like you and me who are objective and interested in working for the actual sort of game mode objectives will kind of move away and I think that that is what nobody wants to happen because I actually think the game plays out well. Despite the fact of this, they've had loads of issues with Battlefield 4, I actually still think the game plays well and I think compared to other FPS I still think it's miles up ahead, you know, um, and, and I think that what they've been doing with the game. Now Hardline I'm not so sure about still, I'm not fully convinced about that. I think part of that is to do with the community, part of it is to do with the way the game plays out. However, there, there is more to come with Hardline, there's more that you guys haven't seen and I, I think you know I'm going to reserve my judgement on that and wait to see where we get with it. But you know from a Battlefield point of view I just think we just need, need to encourage much more this kind of objective play as I have been saying on and on and on and on because it's something that really really is under my skin at the moment. Um, but as I say, I you know I'm quite interested if we can get this server happening. If we can get the server happening, and we can, I can say to you guys, you know, this is what I used to do with my server on um, PlayStation, and I would I would label the server as an objective gameplay server. If there are people who are kill whoring unnecessarily, if there are people that are dicking around getting stupid kills, you're going to get kicked. If you come back and do it again, it's a ban, right? It's not a three strikes now; it's a two strikes and you're out, okay? Because 
as a server administrator or whatever, I don't have time to be fiddling around with people trying to decide what they want to do. If they want to come and do what the server is designed to do, then that's good. And, you know, I will advertise the server as that. The other thing is, if I get a server and I actually sort of focus it towards that kind of objective gameplay, I'm going to set sort of time periods of the evening where people can, you know, sort of expect to come and attend and other people will be there. Because trying to keep a server populated is one of the biggest problems of all. And, you know, usually on the PlayStation server, a lot of the time, and this was many, many times I kind of questioned whether or not I wanted to continue to run the server because of population issues. And that was a real problem for me. Mainly, as I say, because I would come on to play and every time I came on to play, the server wouldn't be full or even populated. I would have to, oh look, see, this is why every time, you know, when we were in game, we talked about this and I said, look, that's why I don't always go for revives. But I wish to God I'd seen him right there. That was a pain. But anyway, um, yeah, keeping the server populated. So, you know, this is very much the kind of case, like with my YouTube channel. If you guys support me, it will come back to you guys as well. And the same with the server. If you guys really, truly want an objective playing server, a server where you can come and get really strong objective games where both teams are playing for the objective, close finishes, hard fought battles, games where you actually feel like you're having to work hard and really sort of drive forward, get those games, get those kind of games that to be honest, you just don't get anywhere else. If you want to have servers like that, you need to come and support me and support the server because if you don't, I won't be able to keep it populated, it'll be irritating, and in the end I'll just give up and I won't have it. So if you guys truly want that, I will look into doing it, like soon, like this week, all right? And if you guys, please below, if you want that, drop a like on this video. The more the more video, you know, the more support this video gets and the more people kind of come on board and come and join the server, then I'll label it Lutin Server, okay? And so you can easily find it. I'll put like objective play and blah, blah, blah. Probably do, I don't know whether I'll do Rush. It might be interesting. I'll probably test through some game modes and I'll probably also do things like I'll, I'll change up the server and we'll have like, you know, specific objective nights. We'll have like obliteration night. We'll have like rush night, conquest, domination. We'll change it around um, and we'll change around the maps. Uh, one thing with the server as well is it will be DLCs always. I always run DLCs. So if I have the server, I'll need you guys to be, you know, sort of on the DLC because basically that's the way I always set up my server. I like to have, especially with uh, Dragon's Teeth coming up as well. So that's where we are. Let's let's get back into this game now. So, you know, leave your thoughts about that below, please. Okay, let me know if you're very, very happy to support it. Let me know what you think about donations. And I totally uh, accept any comments about that. All right, I'm not sort of one way or the other. If you think it's a, a crap idea, if you don't like that idea, then tell me. So if you think it's a good idea and you want to do it, tell me the reason why you think it's a good idea so that we can, you know, sort of all get a bit of a discuss about that going on. Because I really want to support objective play. It's, it's something I'm very passionate about. And also, I want to say as well that objective play is not the same as competitive play it's not the same and I think I might discuss that on a different video because I think it's a separate topic but it's not the same thing public objective play is a different kettle of fish compared to competitive play it's very very different okay let's get back in the game here now we have been flanking and pushing and, the, and our team as well have been pushing hard getting on this objective so you saw a minute ago we had C capped and the guys down there you know we didn't have to go over there I mean how many games have I been in where I feel like I'm having to manage everything on the map all at the one time you know I'm just like oh god we've got to cover this and defend this and we still need to go over here you know that was another good trait with this round was that I didn't feel like I was having to manage other people I didn't have to feel like I was like worrying about what everyone I mean look they've nearly, they're back nearly capped B yet again you know they've nearly capped B again so that's how well our team are playing right now they're really playing hard like I've been saying throughout the whole video they're doing a really good job and as I say it comes back to you because it means it's something that you don't have to worry about you don't have to be constantly thinking oh my god you know where are they all over the place so it's playing out really well look at the scores right now okay only 80 tickets in it which is not that you know it's not that big of a, a, an advantage at this stage in the game and it's definitely a, an ability that you know we could kind of come back from this god again seriously that <laughs> I'm, I'm going to play some Battlefield straight after I record this because I'm like, I want to improve my gunplay. <laughs> we actually played Fiance Sasa. I don't know what the deal was going on. I think, I, I, I honestly think actually as well, half of it, I was just super tired and irritated at this point in time. But, but I think half of it is that, you know, I've not played so much recently. But anyway, regardless. So overall, this was a really enjoyable round for me. And it was just an enjoyable round because it was so refreshing and good to see people actually going for the objectives. And it meant that for once, we could actually sort of stick to our own game plan and we as a squad were sort of deciding where we wanted to go and what we wanted to do without feeling that we had like the weight of whether or not the entire game was just going to fail on our shoulders. I felt like 
at this point in time, I felt like, look, you know, we're all trying pretty hard. The enemy team are very good. The, the teams felt pretty balanced. And overall, I just felt like, yeah, this is a, a game that's going the right direction. And I, I, I thought, you know, we've got a chance here. We've got a chance we can win this. I mean, look, we, we've nearly sort of managed to secure these bases back here. We're recouping the tickets. Already we're back only to about 60. Uh, so we've recouped some tickets there. And I said, we just got to try and hold these bases. We just got to hold these bases for a little bit. But the enemy team, you know, they were really, they wanted to win as well. They wanted to win hard. And they, they really put the fire back into us at this time. You know, they come back down and they really throw it into us. So again, that's good to see as well because, you know, the other team, despite the fact that a lot of them finished pretty well on the KD, um, it's clearly not just about that for them. You know, they clearly want to win and, and it's like, you know, they obviously, when they're on the back foot a little bit, when we started to take a little bit of control right here, they could have very easily gone like, okay, well, you know, let's just hold on for a little bit. Let's, no, they, they just throw it straight back into us. But look at my team as well. Look at the team right here. Look all around me on that mini-map. Look how they're pushing forward and moving. The only trouble is we've kind of maybe abandoned C a little bit here because they've all kind of gone towards where I think the attention is. That's why I'm flanking across right here to try and get on this C section because, look, this guy's coming in right here and I'm trying to sort of stop them from getting down that position. But unfortunately, there seems to be quite a few guys coming in on this. Ah, <laughs> that was a good kill. <laughs> see, sometimes I get the gunplay well. Not all the time, but sometimes I do. That was a nice little shot. But look, see that they've already pushed down onto C and not enough players over here. This was a mistake with our team. And actually, funny enough, now I'm watching it back. This was the time, this was the moment right here where we lost the game, now that I think about it. Because if we had, look, look, see, there's a couple of guys going over here, but look, the majority, they're, start, they're trying to push to A, which was a mistake. You know, we, we didn't need to push to A at that time. What we should have done is just held the line, stop them from getting down here. Because from these two bases, to be honest, you can hold the line pretty well because, you know, coming down that hill, you only have a few lanes, really. And we could have just spread out as a team and controlled that situation. And even if we just controlled that situation a little bit more if we had managed to get ourselves at like maybe a 20 30 maybe 40 ticket advantage if we had just held that line a little bit more we would have won the game probably I mean, most likely we would have won the game but because the guys pushed up that hill too aggressively and you see that's why it's very very important to understand when it's the time to push and when it's the time to sit and defend and kind of just hold the line not be so aggressive and and that's really what we should have done there and in losing that base, we've just lost the game. You can see right now our tickets are just hemorrhaging and, you know, we don't really have any ability to kind of come back into the game at this point unless we went for a triple cap, which is just honestly not going to happen. But regardless, this was an excellent round. I, I, You know, we got to the end of the round and it was the end of the night and I said to Super, I was like, that was a good game, you know, that was a that was a really good game. You know, we didn't manage to come back from it, but it doesn't matter. That was an enjoyable game to play. And you can see, look, the team, they've done what I said. They pushed up to A. They've just they've traded bases and we have kind of lost because of that um, we should have held the line and defended it was the wrong thing to do but overall there we are good game and look at the comments right here everyone's like GG close game excellent nice game you know real good game look and that's from the enemy guys the enemy guys you know so really good loved it so let me know what your thoughts are how have you guys been finding objective play I know a lot of you a lot of you more than the guys who have been saying you can find it have been saying that, that you can't find it that you're having a really difficult time finding objective gameplay um, what are your thoughts about this game and then finally what are your thoughts about get me getting a server okay what do you think about me getting a server would you attend it would you attend it regularly uh, would you you know and the, the donation donations aspect what do you think about going sort of half half on that to keep the server aspect uh, going let me know what your thoughts are below uh, as always guys if you enjoyed the video drop me a rating subscribe i always really appreciate it, it helps me out on the channel so much i'll see you next time more battlefield 4